Okay. Let me make sure I have got this right. Sounds like I sound okay. Cool, time to take the headset off. And we got that. Oh, Iron Man didn't just bump something. I think that's okay. <laughs> Gia, hello, welcome to the stream. Zrex, hello, welcome to the stream. Min Min, hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Legend 2.0, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome, welcome. Demon Dig Gamer, hello, welcome to the stream. Defiant, hello, welcome, welcome. Silver Master, hello, welcome, welcome. Nin, hello, welcome to the stream. Perky Central, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are all doing well. Boon Sweet, Trainer Joker, hello, welcome you guys. Uh, Tyler Blunt says, hey, there we meeting again. How are you doing? Hello, Tyler, welcome. Yes, we are, and I'm doing not too bad. If I sound a little bit tired or whatever, it's because I had another nap. <laughs> so I only woke up a little bit ago. So you'll hear me slowly, progressively wake up during this stream, but <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well. Misty Krat, hello, welcome to the stream, and good morning to you. Uh, spooky si I always say spooky, it's just easier for me to remember. It's 107, I'm tired, but I was just watching anime. Well, I hope it was a good anime. Zrex says, I just got the shiny relic! <gasps> 2,513 eggs. I felt pain. I did 300 plus eggs a day. Oh my gosh, Rex. I've I've been there. And congrats on the shiny relic. It's such a good shiny. Josh McKinnon, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Boxy Bag, welcome to the stream. I hope you're also doing well. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, guys. This will be our first check of the stream. Last stream, we left off at 353 soft resets. And this will be our 354th. Saying numbers when you're tired, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> but the first check is not shiny and that is okay. We resume onwards. Trainer Joker says, so I just caught Giratina and was thinking if I add it into the team in Platinum, even though I have Garchomp. You totally could. I mean, you can always switch up your team whenever you want to, Trainer Joker, so sounds good. Uh, I just got a shiny Sandy Gas. Oh my gosh, congrats! Sandy Gas and Palace Wind are really good shiny so that's awesome good job i got burnt up from shiny hunting palkia legend i feel you that's <laughs> totally reasonable take a break when you need to on shiny hunting because seriously it, it can burn you out we got this thank you boxy bag yes we do yes we do i don't get to keep him as he was a birthday gift insert breaking <laughs> benjamin pain without love chorus here oh my gosh x I mean, that's a very thoughtful birthday gift, though. I have to say that. So that's very kind of you. <laughs> uh, just says, I'm so happy went on a shiny drought for Dynamax Adventures and getting a shiny Lunala and then a Zelf back to back. <gasps> In Dynamax Adventures, congrats. That's so good, Josh. That's really good. I was late to school because I thought it was Saturday. Oh, Geo. I mean, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm a little bit messed up on the days of the week because we just had, um, yesterday was Labor Day, which is an Australian public holiday, I believe. I believe it's just Australian. So you know how it is on public holidays. Everything is basically shut. So I'm like, what is today? <laughs> Today's not Monday, but yeah, I feel you. Tyler says, that's good to hear. I actually got me some new ones now, in fact. I got Shiny Krabby and Aeron. Ooh, from Pokey Radar. Congrats, Tyler. That's awesome. I'm thinking... I mean, I don't know. I need to play through more of um my diamond copy now that we have Piplup because I want to do some radar hunting, but I feel like in this Shining Pearl copy, I'm constantly going after, like, legendaries? <laughs> Which I'm not mad about at all. Um... But I want to do, I really want to try to make Pokey Radar hunting work for me because it looks like so much fun when other people do it. But I just get, I get mad when a chain breaks for no reason. <laughs> um, but that's very awesome, Tyler. Congrats. It was very late, but she liked it. One problem, she doesn't have a uh, live. Aww. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure that she very much appreciated it, those Rex. 
I found it interesting. Oh, I find it interesting. Giratina can learn Thunderbolt. Should I teach him that? If you want to, yeah, do it. That'd be cool. I feel, I feel sleep. Let the sleep come over you. <laughs> uh, Demonic Gamer says I'm at 350 resets so far on Drippy. Oh my gosh. Well, good luck. I hope you get it. That is a shiny hunt that I actually have to do myself soon. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Carnivore! Oh my gosh. I'm going to read that in just a moment. <laughs> Rigster says hello. Hello, Rigster. Welcome to the stream. Poke Central says Mega Latios and Latios are Pokemon go in New Zealand now. Oh, that's awesome. We have Genghis Khan, which is pretty cool. Bunsi says I'm a big fan of you. Please don't give up in your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so much, Bunsi. That's so sweet. Carnivore! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 25! Oh my gosh, you did not have to do that. That is so, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Carnivore says, hello Buttercup. Hope you and everyone here has wonderful days. Good luck again with getting that yellow horse, Lord. Oh. Carnivore, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Normally I'm so far behind in chat that I don't see them till I scroll down and that one I just see it pop up straight away. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Carnivore, so much. I'm wishing you luck on your streams as well and thank you for the good luck. I'm definitely going to need it for this one, I think. <laughs> but thank you, Carnivore. That's so sweet. Oh, Marcus, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Marcus. Uh, Zerk says, I know, I know. Oh my gosh. That was so... So generous, Carnifer. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, <laughs> Mid Mid says, Slay. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Demonic Gamer says, uh, 355 resets now. Oh my gosh. Congrats. You're getting there. You're making progress. Josh says, Can someone explain to me how Ghastly can learn Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch, and Curum the Ice Dragon can't learn it? I don't know, Josh. It doesn't make sense. Pokemon is one of those things where is it is it like a catch-22? It should make sense, but it doesn't. I don't know. It I, I can't explain it to you, Josh. Oh my gosh, Gio says, I just stood up and then I forgot how to walk. Gio, I know it's... I know you're probably saying this because you're tired. You should definitely sleep. <laughs> but I get like that with my low iron. I don't know if anyone else here is anemic but you'll understand if you are where you stand up and it's just like goes white so you got to stand up slow otherwise you just <laughs> it's not fun so i feel you Gio. uh the zerk says imagine if you got a shiny just as chronifer i know oh my gosh that to have both happen at the same time would have been pretty pretty intense <laughs> but yeah i don't know if you're still here chronifer or not but thank you so much I really do appreciate that. But yeah. I hope you guys are all having a good day. Like I said, it's feeling a bit weird for me. It's a four day a four day week essentially, so it feels kinda like a Monday, which is weird because it's not, but yeah, let me know what you guys are up to. Um imagine uh, uh Josh says you seem really tired, but a cup everything okay. I am pretty good, Josh. I just woke up from a nap, so I am a little bit tired. <laughs> I've been uh Right now, we're going through the transition to it actually being kind of cold here because it's switching to winter. And I love winter, but the only thing is with winter, because it's cold, it does kind of like make my joints a little bit achy. So I do tend to get a bit more tired when that happens. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it. So I did have a nap, and so I am still waking up from that. But I'm, I'm all right, Josh, I promise. But thank you for, <laughs> for checking on me. Uh, Demonic Gamer says, I don't even know what Shiny Droopy looks like. <laughs> I mean, I think it, if I remember correctly, I think it turns, a, like it has more yellow on it, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, Burn Sweet says, can you Shiny Hunt for a Shiny Boneri? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I just hit my desk. I'm sorry if that was loud. But yeah, absolutely I can do a Shiny Boneri. We ended up finding one in a stream a little while ago in Legends. But I think it'd be really fun to do like a Boneri hunt through Pokey Radar. Carrot! Carrot says, hi Buttercup, I am so happy you're streaming right now because having COVID sucks. Oh, Carrot. I hope you start feeling better soon and my thoughts are with you that you'll make a quick recovery. Gio says, when I stand up quickly, I be Dizay. <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely relate. Thank you again, Chronophore. 
Uh, the Zrex says, sleep in this economy? Do you think we have enough for that pleasure? My paychecks are only in pain, shiny and grinding in other games. Zrex, oh my gosh, it's true though. It's true. I think from what I know, now I, I don't, I'm not 100%, but I know like Australia is like one of those places that is like a higher cost of living. So if this sounds weird to you and you're from somewhere else, don't mind it, like this is normal, but we i would always get like the cheap tissue boxes because they were like i believe they used to be like 90 cents and just within the span of a year they've gone up to a dollar 30 and i know that sounds like not a big deal but it's like now for the price of four tissue boxes i can only get three how dare <laughs> i know that's random but it's weird i don't like it uh legend says i'm shiny hunting amora in pokemon x Ooh, good luck legend Good luck, Amora is a really good shiny in my opinion, so I hope you get it. Trainer Joker says, I have a great day because I caught all Lake Trios and Platinum in a day. That's really good. Congrats, Trainer Joker, that's awesome. Demonic says, I'm so happy you gave me luck for Wishy Washy. Aww. Of course, I'm, I'm always going to share the shiny luck around. Everyone does it for me, I have to give it out as well. <laughs> Arcus, Arcus, Arcus. <laughs> Wait, what was I doing? You were summoning the shiny Arcus for me. <laughs> how much? I know, Zex. I know. I don't know how much tissues, tissue boxes are everywhere else. But I don't know. That was just a random example. Because sometimes I like... Okay, so I don't watch as many vlogs as I could. But every time I watch a vlog of someone like in America... And I'm sure it's gone up even more now. But like every time I watch prices, like stuff in America, I'm like, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. I can't believe how cheap that is. But obviously there is like a conversion, right? But it's like whenever they do like the bulk shopping, I guess, too, that also does have something to do with it. But I'm sure prices have gone up now. But it's it's just, yeah, it's a lot. Like you go in and you get one bag of groceries and you buy all the like not name brand stuff, just the like store the store brand stuff and you're like how did i spend a hundred dollars on this one bag of groceries like that's ridiculous <laughs> i'm always interested about that like the prices of stuff in, a, in other places i know that's really random but while we're talking about it it always blows me away um how many encounters burn sweet we are at 362 my goodness you went up 30 subs since the last stream that's really good oh I think it was around 30 because I because it doesn't show the last number I think for you guys on my on my sub thing but it's always really fun seeing like I don't know just some days I wake up and I'm like where did these people come from <laughs> like some days I wake up and I'll have gained like 10 subs and I'm just like thank you <laughs> I don't know where you found me from but thank you um my shiny luck has been great in Legends of Arceus that's awesome Nin I'm glad to hear that Peach Creed, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, where do you find Whimsicott and Sword and Shield? I want a shiny hunt one. Ooh, so as far as I remember, Whimsicott is a strong spawn in um one of the DLCs. I think it's I think it's Crown Tundra. Um, if you will remember where I shiny hunted Relicant, during a certain weather. Whimsicott will be a strong spawn. So if you don't have the DLC, I believe you can still trade for like a Cottony or um, like through, or even a Whimsicott. So you can do Masuda hunting for it through like surprise trade or if you can trade with somebody the not surprise trade way. I can't remember what that's called right now for some reason. But yes. Um... Shiny Arcus or cheap, or cheap tissue boxes? <laughs> I think shiny Arcus. <laughs> um, Zrek says, oh, I have news for you. Oh, that I will like. I am going for a shiny fairy type team now. <gasps> going for a Pikachu ghost clone. Ooh, does that mean Mimikyu? Oh my gosh. I'm very happy to hear that, Zrex. I hope it goes well for you finding the team. I'm going to be excited to see how that uh, pans out. Krimo, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> My first Pokemon game was Ruby. Very nice, very nice. I believe the first main series game I got to play was Sapphire, so. Good, good taste. 
Uh, Nick says, hey, Buttercup, how are you today? I live in New York, never cheap here. Oh, my gosh, Nick, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love watching, like, um, house tours and, like, just, like, what a certain amount of money can get you everywhere. And I know, I feel for you, New York, from everything I've seen, it is not cheap. It is not cheap, so I don't envy you for that, Nick. Oh, my gosh. And I'm doing not too bad. I woke up not long ago from a nap, so if I sound a little bit tired, that's why. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. So welcome, Nick. Splinks! Oh my gosh! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the stream! I hope you're doing well! Welcome! Devin says, hello everyone! Hope everyone is having a good day or night! Thank you so much, Devin, and I hope the same for you as well! Welcome, welcome! Um... Oh my gosh, dear. <laughs> um, Zrex says, Buttercup, are you talking about GTS? Yes, I believe so, Zrex, I believe so. Uh, I do have the DLC, I just don't know what weather. Um... Do, 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 do. Overcast weather, I believe. Oh, no. No? Is it not overcast? Maybe it's overcast. I just googled it, but I think it could be overcast. You might want to triple check that. <laughs> um, breaking news, me sleepy. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, thank you so much for the $8. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, Gio Gio says, hey, Buttercup, how have you been? I'm doing not too bad, Gio. I hope you're doing well. You're still going for the shiny only team at Brilliant Diamond. I haven't progressed in my Brilliant Diamond copy yet because I'm on the fence if I should do that or not. I'm a little bit worried because I feel like for how long Piplup took, I might have bad luck on that cartridge. But at the same time, this is my opportunity to do a shiny only team. So maybe I will, maybe I will, because I think I want to try to do the um, trying to find a shiny in a turn of forest when you have um, the partner to do it. I can't remember their name right now. That's how you know that I have not been awake for long enough. But Juju, not a bad idea. Thank you again for the eight dollars. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It would be a cool idea. Maybe that's how I could shiny hunt Beniri. But then again, I am worried about doing the double battles in Eterna Forest that will they knock out the shiny? Because I would cry. <laughs> uh, I have no DLC in Sword and Shield. Uh, sad dads. Oh, that's okay. I, I still think the game is pretty fun even without the DLC. The DLC just is an add-on and that's exactly what it feels like. It, it adds more content, so it's still good without the DLC. Shiny series, that would be fun. That would be fun, maybe. I actually, um, over the weekend and this week, I'm going to be focusing on trying to do the, um, the gameplay of a different game. So I probably won't be able to do too much shiny hunting after today because I want to spend a couple days doing, working on some other videos, but I am a few shiny hunts ahead, so there will still be shiny hunting videos going up because I just want to play around with doing something a little different. You guys know Pokemon will always be the first and foremost, but I've been really wanting to play a different game on the channel. So hopefully, like I said, it will work out. Fingers crossed after today, I will be having that all set up and then it all works out. <laughs> uh, the forest only brings bad luck. Oh, really, Zerx? Oh, no. I feel you there. I felt the same after Turtwig. Right? <laughs> like, it's so good to get it, but then it's like, I'm scared to touch that copy again. Giorgio says, that's why you knock out Cheryl's Chansey first. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Can I didn't even think about that. I mean, I love the evil laugh afterwards, because I was going to say we could. <laughs> uh, Zrex says, trust me, I know she can and will knock out anything in its path, including a purple worm. <laughs> okay. Zrex says, yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Trainer Joker is... So my team in Platinum now is Infernape, Togekiss, Roserade, Garchomp, Gyarados, and Lucario. It's a good team. It's a good team. Although I don't know much about competitive, that still seems like a good team to me. I wouldn't want to go up against it. Yes, the electric ready. I need it for competitive. Ooh, I hope you get it. Um, I made it this time. You did, Peyton. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, speaking of the double encounters, can you guess uh, what my picture is based on? Is it the Chansey? 
Is it the Chansey? It's very small on my end, so it's hard for me to see, but it looks like, it looks like it's a Chansey. <laughs> I'm guessing it might be that one. That's quite funny. I like that Splings. Every single time I write, uh, it's in my keyboard, it goes to, it's me, Geo. Is that like your three most said words? Because is that how it works? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. Uh, your best shiny uh, shiny hunter, in my opinion. Oh, that's very sweet, Bensley. I really appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Sometimes I feel like I wish I could be more energetic when I get shinies. So I appreciate that a lot. It's like I always feel like I'm... I've mentioned this before, but I always feel like I'm super loud and maybe a little bit obnoxious whenever I'm in the moment. And then I edit and I'm like, you're so quiet. <laughs> you're so quiet, but... I appreciate that a lot. That's very sweet. Which fits with the name. Uh, Zark says, is it just me or does the uh, black color almost look tanned in this current skybox? And does the black color almost look tanned in this current skybox? Do you mean in um in the Arceus hunt? How the like the black on Arceus looks tanned? I agree. I agree. Chase, Buttercup, I have shiny Arceus. Do you want it? Oh, that's very sweet, Chase. That's okay. I want you to keep it. I really appreciate the offer, but I want to get the satisfying feeling of seeing the sparkles and hunting it myself. But thank you very much for the offer, Chase. That's very sweet. Um, yeah, Chansey fainted the shiny Murkrow. Oh, see, Zrex, maybe it's purple shinies. Maybe it's purple shinies that Chansey doesn't like. Uh, Geo says, still egg hunting for Axew. I miss running around when I get shinies. Oh, Geo, Geo, me too. Me too. I remember back in the days when on weekends I would shiny hunt because I'd be at work all the time and I was too tired to do anything. And I remember on weekends I'd put on someone who was streaming shiny hunting. Just whoever was on at the time because Australian time zones don't always link up with other time zones. And I remember what, back then when I'd get a shiny, I would just like run around everywhere. <laughs> It was so, it was funny. Sometimes I feel like doing that, but if I run away, then because I don't have a camera, you wouldn't be able to hear me, but it's nice. It's nice to be excited about the shinies. Buttercup says she's going to be uploading different gaming content. My brain think of Buttercup hitting no scopes in either Black Ops 2 or Fortnite. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll be able to record Black Ops 2, but I could potentially do a little Fortnite video. I don't know. It's not what I had in mind. I have two other games that I kind of want to trial for the... For the video but i'm not saying a fortnite video or stream is out of the question completely after your stream ended i got four shinies the same night oh my gosh payton congrats that's so good holy moly i don't think i've ever gotten four shinies in a day outside of pokemon go community days or the go fest so that's really good yeah my most saying word is it's me geo because i had a twitch streamer friend but he doesn't stream that much oh Life gets in the way, but it's always nice to think that maybe if they get the time, they can always come back. Because streaming, it does take up a lot of time, especially if they're doing it consistently. But that's, I like that. That's nice. Um, Your reactions are real, and in my opinion, that's more important. Aw, thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. It's hard because sometimes, too, when I get shinies, it's like sometimes the reaction is just like my jaw drops. But then I realize, like, Oh, they can't see me? <laughs> so I have to, like, make a noise? <laughs> I feel like I've noticed from editing my videos, my, like, common reaction is, like, that I gasp. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> One day I'll gasp so hard I'll probably, like, swallow a fly. <laughs> uh, Dave says, Have you got any, um... Any of the out of region legendaries with the underground gems and brilliant diamond shining pearl. I've only gotten the first Reggie shiny uh, Reggie rock. I'd love to go for sweet coon, but you have to do them in order. Yes, um, I did unlock Reggie rock, but I haven't completed that shiny hunt because I didn't want to hunt Reggie rock at the time. And I feel you. I really want to do a sweet coon hunt, and I probably will. Maybe the after um, I complete a couple of these in region shiny legendaries. I'll move on to doing that for the streams. I think that'd be really fun. And good luck to when you uh, go for Suicune and all the other uh, legendaries in between. And congrats on your shiny Reggie Rock. That's awesome. When I get my shiny Droopy, I'll put it as my profile picture. Yes, definitely. Hello, Jaman. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm terrible with, <laughs> with reading that, but hello, welcome to the stream. 
Uh, Zach says, yes, I do. I only just noticed it now. So my headcanon is both you and the horse goddess sunbathing. <laughs> we love to see it. Getting the, the good vitamins from the sun. Chase says, I found a shiny palkia and shining pearl. Main story one. Oh, congrats, Chase. That's awesome. I'm trying to animate while watching this. I can't think of any ideas for this. Ooh, interesting, Payton. Well, I'm very interested. I hope it works out for you because animation seems like really fun to get into, but I think we discussed this. It, it seems like a lot of hard work. It's something that I can admire from afar, but I don't know if I would have the patience. Um, I found all shiny mythicals in Gen 4. Congrats, Legend. That's awesome. Yeah, watching stream sucks when you live in an Australian time zones, right, dear? Ah, uh, we try. We try our best, though. Black Ops 2 is my favorite COD. A Black Ops uh, and Buttercup <laughs> stream would be legendary. Black Ops 2 is probably my favorite as well, Dave. <laughs> Splink Sport Cup. I'll just have, like, a second channel where I just do <laughs> Fortnite videos. That would be funny. I would like to do that, but I just don't know if I'd be able to keep up with it because I'm not consistently very good at Fortnite. That would, that would be fun, though. Uh, Fortnite has zero builds, so you don't have to worry about building. It's my preferred way to play the game now. Yes, dear. That's how I've been playing it as well. Because now that I play on PC and not on a, a cons uh, console, I just, I'm not good at building. <laughs> uh, can you make a video like evolving all your shiny Pokemon that you didn't evolve? I consider it with some. I've been thinking about doing that with Eevee in Legends of Arceus. Um, but for a lot of Pokemon, because eventually I would like to have a shiny living dex, I'm a bit worried to evolve the ones that I want to hunt their evolutions. But it's not a bad idea. You know that Pokemon thing I'm working on? Well, now there will be a region variant of Chansey that hates everything. Dark fairy type? <gasps> I would love that, Zerx. I need to see it. That sounds amazing. Chase says I'm Australian? Wow, we got we got a few Australians here. I was thinking that would probably be more Australians here because of the time zone, because usually when I stream, it's like quite early <laughs> um, or late, depending how you look at it, but that's awesome. The shiny luck might be on my side right now, but <laughs> uh, me when I sleep, me too when I sleep, dear. Josh says the shocked Pikachu face is probably the best way to describe finding a first shiny. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, Splinks, thank you. Thank you for the two pounds. Oh, shiny luck as always. Thank you so much, Splinks. And now I can actually see your picture up close <laughs> as well. And it does, yeah, it is the chancy. I thought so. <laughs> but thank you so much for the two pounds, Splinks. And the shiny luck. Definitely need it. Oxybag says, I want to hatch eggs for a shiny cottony because you got one in Gen 9. Because uh, you get, you got one? In, uh, don't. Don't even mind me, boxy bag. <laughs> I want to hatch one for shiny cottony because you got it in nine. Yes. And shiny whimsicott is one of my fave shinies. You definitely should, boxy bag. Oh, okay. The eggs. Okay. I see it. You definitely should. I was super lucky to get that so quick. I did not expect to get a shiny that quick. And then I did not expect... We got Lapras in, I think it was six, right? I think Lapras was six eggs. When you get some really long hunts and then you do also get some very short ones it's kind of the fun with shiny hunting i feel like there needs to be a good balance in order to keep it exciting but that's just my opinion uh normally the odds are for this game uh one in 4096 and it doesn't affect the shiny charm yes yes that is that is what i've been hearing and i i still don't believe that they've uh the pokemon <laughs> overlords have given us a reason as to why this is the case but it's interesting Black Ops 2 is great, however, I preferred playing zombies. The map buried was my favorite. Oh my gosh, Drex. Yep. Yep. I loved Black Ops 2 for the zombies. It was so good. I remember for the longest time, I only had access to Die Rise. And I would just play that by myself to warm up even for competitive. Because it still get, would get your, like, shot on. Um, Peyton says, I gotta draw a ton of cats, so animating is fine. Oh, well, that's good. Visitors! Hey, how many resets? I got a shiny magic up. Oh. After 16k fishing for Phoebus, <laughs> I'm on a phase two. Oh my gosh, at 2,400 now. Visitors, oh my gosh. I'm sending luck your way. Congrats on the shiny magic cup, although I know it's not what you're after. Oh, I hope you get that Phoebus. Oh my gosh. And for um, Arceus, we're only very early into this hunt. It's 375 resets so far, so... <laughs> but my luck is with you, Visitus. 
Axolotl, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Spinal Wolfion, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Alex says, I'm trying to get shiny Garatina, but I also want to get shiny Arceus, and the temptation is killing me. Oh my gosh. Alex, you got this. You got this. You can always you can always switch around, can't you? If you want to try and give Arceus a go. And you can take a break from Garatina. Totally up to you, Alex. But if you can, you definitely should. Uh, Geo says, I'm British and I have school tomorrow. And it's 1.35. Oh. <laughs> well, make sure you have a good breakfast when you wake up and drink some water. So you can feel good and try to have the best day that you can. Did you really get the shiny droopy demon gamer? Congrats, that's so awesome. Oh my gosh, no, I think I just got an eyelash in my eye. No. <laughs> I think I just, ah, got an eyelash in my eye. That's okay. Cronifer says, question for everyone before I'm forced to head off for work. Oh, Cronifer. Was there a Pokemon or Pokemon character you saw for the first time and instantly fell in love with? Ooh, that's a good question, Cronifer. I like it. Honestly, Lily for me. I really liked Lily from the jump because I really liked the aesthetic of the outfit. I thought Lily was super cool, but yeah, Kronifor, I, I would say Lily for me, but that's a good question. And I hope work goes well for you, Kronifor. Uh When you normally stream, I go, damn, I gotta go to bed, so I sort of felt left of the stream onto sleep. Aw, cheer. Aw. 360 attempts? That's really good, congrats! Buttercup saying she's not that great at Fortnite. My brain thinking how she's getting 18 kills compared to the normal 20 bomb bad. <laughs> I wish that was the case, Josh. I don't know what my average is, but I had a good game the other night. Well, good. I won. <laughs> no, I don't win very much, so it was a very big deal for me. Um, it was it was duos. I was doing duos, and it worked out really well because I ended up getting I think it was eight kills. Eight kills and six assists. Tell me that they weren't getting stolen from me. I always check my damage at the end of every match because I'm just like, you know, mathematically that was actually like I got 14, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't remember what my best game was. I think when it used to be the snipers only mode, I think my best game was like, was 18. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that great. I kind of, I don't play super aggressive when I play many, many games at all, to be honest. Do you have a main skin you use in Fortnite? I have two. Um, I've looked up the name of it last time and I couldn't remember because I had skins from when I used to play a few years ago. I don't buy skins anymore, but um, Flapjacky was the skin I really like to use. And then, um, oh my gosh. And then I think it's Kuno. I really like using Kuno as well. Um, honestly, that magic up almost made me quit shiny hunting. Did you get Piplop? I did, Visitors! I did! I don't know how many it actually ended up taking because I had a problem when I was adding up my soft resets for how many soft resets I did. So I don't know the number anymore because I made a mistake somewhere when I was adding up my encounters, but... I don't blame you about the magic up. I would have felt the same. <laughs> Jen Black, hello and good luck. Oh my gosh, welcome, welcome, Jen Black, and thank you. I definitely will take that luck. <laughs> Hydrate now. Thank you, Peyton. I will. Thank you for the reminder. Everyone else, if you can, thank you, Peyton. I'm going to take a quick little sip. Delicious. <laughs> thank you, Peyton. Trainer Joker says, also, I decided to take a break hunting Giratina in Brilliant Diamond, so I'll be able to shiny hunt Darkrai. <gasps> Yes, definitely. Definitely do that. Whenever you feel like you need to switch it up, do it. I have drama and I don't like drama. Oh, gee, I'm the same. I'm not a fan of drama at all. But that's okay. Remember, these things will pass. They come and go, but they will they will settle eventually. Peach Creed says, Cynthia. Cynthia is a good answer. Yo, you got the pip? I did, VTuber Major. I did. I was so happy about it. I was not expecting it. David, hello! Welcome to the stream! I hope you're doing well! Welcome, welcome! Visitor, <laughs> Visitor says Cynthia for me. She just radiated that I'm kind of a bad butt who will bring a team with a smile on my face energy. Yes, and Cynthia loves ice cream! So I can relate. <laughs> Buttercup, I have some great news. Yes, Spinal Wolfian! I saw your comment! I'm so excited for you! What is it? I need to know! I need to know! I love hearing good news. Oh, great news, actually. <laughs> 
Uh, Void Born Prime says, Hi, Buttercup. Finally got Darkrai yesterday at 4,645. And name him Conchu. I hope I'm saying that right. But congratulations, Void Born Prime. That's awesome. I love Shiny Darkrai. And I know that's a big hunt, so good job. Forst, I hope I'm saying your name right. And probably not. But hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Magically Me says hello. Welcome to the stream, Magically Me. Welcome, welcome. Now I wish you luck on the arc. Oh, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it a lot. Luckily we're not too far into this hunt. But I've been saving it at the moment just for streams. Because it's it's always fun when we get a shiny on stream. I don't know. It's a, it's good to share the hype. <laughs> Kuno is cool. Mine is Malice, which is my profile picture. I realize that. I realize. I like it. I use the um, alternate colorway for Kuno. That has the... Um, the white outfit and the dark hair because that looks more similar to me <laughs> with the dark hair but I used to play it when it didn't have the alternate colorway too. Oh my gosh I saw the pip up reaction too I totally forgot <laughs> that's it I'm all down there no, that's okay isn't this me too me too but it, it was very it was very exciting. Zrek says buttercup did you just say the word hydrate? You just reminded me of that quest I needed to do so that I can become the most hydrated thing alive. Oh no, Zrex. <laughs> oh no. I just imagine someone walking into your room and you're just laying there and they're like perky with a stick. They're like, you, you okay? You okay, Zrex? And you're just like, too much hydration. <laughs> and then they just have to ring you out like a tail. <laughs> Heck, animation shiny hunt better? <gasps> you should definitely animate like a shiny hunt sequence, Peyton. That would be very cool. Artemis, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. I just realized I can shiny hunt Mudkip and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. You definitely need to do it, Axolotl. You definitely need to do it. You can relate to Cynthia for the ice cream, right? Yes, yes. I love the ice cream. I'm not supposed to eat ice cream because of dairy. But um, I don't know if you've heard of the So Good brand. They do like, okay. So they do a chocolate soy ice cream, which is pretty good. But then they have only in a little tub. It's like an almond and chocolate ice cream. And they only do it in a little tub and it's so good. And whenever I'm being naughty and I have dairy, there's a Ferrero Rocher uh, gelato at a local place. And it's so good. It's so good. It makes me feel so bad, but it tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. Don't say Cynthia, uh, will you know. I don't know what that is, and if it's cursed, I don't want to know. <laughs> Do you prefer the friendly rivals or the mean rivals in Pokemon? Splinks, I think I prefer the friendly ones. I was sensitive as a kid, you know. <laughs> and when the rivals were so mean to me, I was like, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> But maybe that's the appeal of the mean rivals. I don't dislike the mean ones, though. I think it's, I think it's funny. Spinal Wolfion says, I got some new shiny Pokemon last night and I can't keep uh, can't keep them to myself, so I have to tell everyone. <gasps> Spinal Wolfion, yes, tell us. I need to know. I need to know. And congrats. I'm excited. Uh, do you have any YouTuber BFF? Like friends? Um, I'm not like friends with anybody, but I'm friendly with people. Like I'd be friendly to people, but I'm not like close to anyone, if that's what you mean. Like, there are a few people who come and support um, me in the channel, even though I don't, like, talk to them or anything outside of that, which I do appreciate a lot. And so, there are a couple people like that, so, yeah. Uh, Pikachu <laughs> says good evening. Good evening, Pikachu. Welcome, welcome. I have NP. NP? No problem? Is that what that means? <laughs> Hunting Toxicroak, I must animate it. Yes, you should, Peyton. You definitely should. Toxicroak has a good shiny. I have no idea what to call my shiny. Whatever you want, Demonic Gamer. Whatever you want. Um, where am I? My shiny Toxicroak, my favorite I have. It's a good, it's a good shiny. Um, ice cream is worth it now. I feel like Uber ought to eat some Baskin Robbins. We don't have that here. I've seen it though, but we don't have that here. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Ferrero Rocher. Oi, oi. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Um, 
My goal for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, defeat champion, no defeat Arceus, no um, another normal goal, no <laughs> normal goal, no getting a full team of Mudkip with, <laughs> with one shiny, yes. Axolotl, you should do a full team of shinies, that would be fun. Hey, wait, I have a bad throat, maybe not a good idea. Yeah, no, you generally don't want to do the whole dairy thing if you have a sore throat. Um, I don't know. I just realized I haven't been in three live streams. Do you know what that means? That means three hard questions, does it, Rex? <laughs> Artemis says, I just subbed and I hope you're doing well and I hope your day has gone well. Oh, Artemis, thank you so much. And my day has gone pretty well. Thank you so much. And I hope the same for you. Gem Black says, Buttercup, are you going to name your Arceus? I don't know if I will, Gem Black, but if I do, I feel like we should call it Arcus <laughs> if we do. Xerxes hard question, what is it going to be? Uh, Spinal Wolfion says, as you already know, I have a Staravia and Electabuzz, but now I have a shiny Zubat, two shiny Luxrays, Glameow, and for the piece of res resistance, <gasps> you got a Goomy, oh my gosh, congrats Spinal Wolfion, that's so awesome. Congrats, you're doing super well. <laughs> so many shinies, oh my gosh. Congrats, are you going to evolve the Goomy? I need to know. I changed my profile picture. I can see it, Demonic Gamer. Congrats. That's awesome. I love Silver so much. Having a criminal as a rival is so cool to me. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I like it. I think that as much as I say I like like the um, nice rivals, I think it's good to have variation. Um, I just got five subs. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. I almost never met you. If I didn't fully watch Gage's stream, I wouldn't have ever watched your streams. Oh, well, that's sweet. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. I have a few people who come and support the streams and I will try whenever I can remember to, to go and support them. But yeah, Gage, Gage is one of those people who's been very kind and has actually helped host, uh, well, uh, no, it's not hosting in YouTube, is it? That's what they call it in um, Twitch. Well, they ra uh, he did a raid and I met, a, I met a quite a few of you guys through that way. So I'm very appreciative of that. What is your favorite type in Pokemon? Me, fairy. Go and see me too. I love fairy types. Artemis says, has anyone noticed that Arceus has a different animation from Arceus than Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl? Arceus stood up when battled in Arceus, then in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, it stays on all fours. I thought it was the other way around. I might be misremembering that Artemis. I don't know. But yeah, I like it. I like when they mix it up and they do, do something different for different games. It's good. Xander says, howdy, howdy, best of luck with the golden god. <laughs> Small update, we did get the Sancheron sword since the last time I was around. Oh, that's awesome, Xander, congrats. That's really, really awesome. And thank you for the luck. We definitely will need it. Ah, uh, okay, Jir, fair, fair enough. <laughs> um, thank you, Boxy Bag. And I, I, I understand now, I understand. <laughs> um... Team Mystic for Life says, hey Buttercup, good luck on your hunt. I'm still hunting Darkrai. Oh, I hope you get it, Team Mystic for Life. I hope you get it. Zerk says, even though you, uh, we know you love the Pikachu Squirrel clone, I now need to ask the unthinkable, excluding the squirrel rate, every Pokemon, one of them, from least to favorite. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're asking me to rate it one as my least favorite, Zerx? I honestly can't remember them all off the top of my head. And it feels weird putting one at the bottom because they're all really great. I feel like... Okay. So, Pachirisu would be probably my favorite. <sighs> it's it's hard because then second it's like, is Dedene or is Plusle and mine are my next favorite? I don't know, Xerx. That's really hard. <laughs> uh, Buttercup gets shiny Pip off and names it Pippi. Her and Polyon be like, are you challenging me? I didn't even think about that when I was younger, Josh. I just was like, it's Pippi forever. <laughs> Name the shiny Arceus, Arcus, crispy chicken nuggets. That is amazing. Uh, do you drive? Because I know you like JDM, so I was wondering if you have one. I don't have anything JDM. Well, <laughs> I have a I have a little Civic. It's an old Civic. It's a 1994 Civic. I think it's an EH. It's got the sunroof, which is pretty cool, but... She needs a little bit of love, but I don't have anything super spectacular. And then there's also a um, non-working S13 in the backyard, which doesn't drive at the moment, but it is very cool. And when it did drive, it was very awesome. Um, That's what Michael calls his Arceus. Arcus. Nice. 
Um, there's one at the coast and they're really good. Had memories sharing a banana split with my mum when I was a kid. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, also, Geo, it really isn't a... Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, do, 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 name the shiny Arceus shiny god. <laughs> I like Arcus though, because it sounds goofy. Unblue says, how many resets are you on? Well, after that one, I believe it's 385. Spinal Wolfion says, thank you, thank you. And sh uh, as for Goonie, I don't know, really, should I? It's up to you, Spinal Wolfion. It's up to you. I do like the Hisuian, uh forms of the final evolutions, but Goomy itself is super cute. So up to you. Um, I'm so far behind in chat. Oh, no. Evie says, I'm sh uh, hunting for Chimchar and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Unfortunately, they really swung and missed with the 3D models and graphics. Everything has weird lighting in the edges in that game. I love the chibi sprites. I like it, but I know what you mean. Like how sometimes when um, I do these hunts and I have like Empoleon shadow behind me. <laughs> but I don't dislike it, but I, I definitely understand what you're saying. I do like the chibi sprites too. Strike says, don't worry, you don't have to answer the more hard questions. You just need to tell me which Route 1 rat Pokemon you want removed from the games. No, I didn't forget my first question. No, Strix, you can't ask me that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know I'm hard with picking the least favorites. That's always the hardest part. Um, Yes, evolve the Groomy into a shiny slug dragon. I mean, we have one vote for evolving the Groomy. <laughs> Artemis says, oh my gosh, I just hatched a shiny Alolan Diglett in Pogo. Congrats, Artemis, that's awesome. Magically Me says, I just accidentally popped a blue and probably scared the Reese's Puffs out of my brother. <laughs> I love that term. Splink says, hey, random question, but do you know I am ancient? I just came from the street from his stream. Oh, that's awesome. I don't I don't know that person, but that is very sweet. That's very, very sweet. So I appreciate that, and I'll have to say thank you. Axolotl says, what do other people imagine a raid is? Ah, we're all here going to die. YouTube, oh, that's just a streamer making, uh, makes their viewers go into a different stream. Other people, are you sure? YouTube, 100%. True. It is. It is the case. <laughs> Xander, as for the rivals, I think we get variations, but they aren't as blatant as before, citing the original Gen 1, 2, and 3. I see that, Xander. I agree. Hopper, oh my gosh. I say, I say Hopper, but is it Hopper or Hooper? Hopper. I can't remember what the double P means now. Like, I can't remember which one double P is. Pepper. Hopper. Okay, that should be it. Uh, what is your favorite region? Mine is Kalo uh, Kalos, and the runner-up for second is either Sinner or Unova. Very good choices. I really like... I like Sinner. I like Alola. And I really like... I believe it's Hoenn is Gen 3, right? You guys are gonna blast me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 7 are probably my favorite regions. Um, but Unova is like, especially a very good choice. I always forget to include Unova, but Unova is quite good. And Kalos, to be honest. Everywhere has really strong points, so it's hard to narrow it down, but those are the ones I think I have to say. Good hunting, I go. Oh, good gear. All good. My fave Pokemon is Spiritomb. Good choice. Spiritomb is a really cool Pokemon. Very cool lore and a very good shiny. Best uh, black color shiny, uh, color shiny. Rayquaza is a very good pick for that. Um, who else? Is it Minior? I really like that Pokemon. The the shiny for that. I think that's really good. Um, favorite region Unova followed by Hoenn. I just uh, really like them gameplay aside. Xander, I I definitely agree. Uh, what do I do with all these extra droopies? <laughs> you could always put them into surprise trade. Name shiny Arceus Arcus. I think we might have to. There's a reason why they're hard questions. Maybe if you get a golden horse, I might give you a Zrex's easy question. That would be nice. I would not be upset about that. I uh, got a modest nature. Nice. I don't know if it's good enough for Demonic Gamer, but I hope it is. I mean, for uh, Droopy. <laughs> I was looking at your profile picture when I said it. Uh, Civics are cute. I have an S13 too. The one with the pop-ups. Uh, she needs work too though. Yeah, the one here has got pop-ups too. And, and the sunroof. It's very cool. Yeah, S13s. I like S13s a lot. I originally really wanted one, but now the price of them has gone up. A lot. <laughs> a lot. My dream car though, this is going to be funny, but I really like a Miata. 
like an old school Miata with the pop-up lights. I don't know. These tanks are scary in Fortnite, hiding from one while typing. Oh, dear. I know. Tanks are stressful. Uh, Pikachu says, Buttercup. Uh, but I said Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup, what is your favorite Pokemon? I have three that are tied for first place. I really like Alolan Vulpix. I really like Sylveon. And I really like Skitty. Ice cream! Uh, watching someone else shiny hunt while shiny hunting is weird, but also really fun. I agree, ice cream. I used to do it all the time. Uh, and welcome to the scream, I- <laughs> the scream? Now- now I'm tongue-tied! <laughs> welcome to the stream, ice cream. Uh, Axolotl says, if I could have my own Pokemon game, it would be, uh, Legends Whitney Mill Tank, aka the real god, and the starters are my favorite starters. Uh, Water Mudkip, Grass Nivy, and Fire Sender Quill. I like that, Axolotl. That's a good lineup. Alola is so good. Agreed. Um, instead of Cyndaquil for fire, it would be Litten. I forgot Alola. Litten's super cute. And Cyndaquil. Hoenn is Gen 3, yes. Personally, I blame the anime for me liking the region so much on top of the general Pokemon design. Agreed, Xander. There's a lot of strong, st strong Pokemon designs in Hoenn. The fact they took uh, of Pokemon Sun and Moon on Netflix pains me. Oh, did they take it off? I didn't know that. Wish every luck and me go sleep. Hope you get luck. Aw, thank you, Jir. And I hope you have good good luck with your sleep as well. And I hope school's good tomorrow. Axolotl says, I got my favorite shiny in Legends, aka Zero Aura. <gasps> or whatever the ghost normal, but the little one, the shiny that is blue. Oh, Zerua. Zerua. Zerua is the one I think you mean. But yes, it's funny how the two Z starting Pokemon, Zerua and Zero Aura, have such similar names. But I'm not mad. They're both great. Uh, I'm going to try again for Sylveon. You definitely should, Spinal Wolfion, and I hope you get it. It's great. Miata? Miatas are cool. I love Miatas. <laughs> I've always wanted a Miata, but here in Australia, they are hard to find. All the Miatas that are here are like the, the newer ones, that, and I only ever see old people driving the newer ones. But when I first played through um, Forza Horizon, you know how you get to pick your starter car? My first car starter was the Miata, and I loved it so much. Uh, 1969 Mustang Dream Car. Nice, nice. Thanks for the shiny luck, Buttercup. Good luck to you. Oh, thank you, Demonic Gamer. Fun fact, if your stove ever breaks down and you need to heat something up fast, just play Minecraft with shaders and RTX mode on. <laughs> true, true, Josh. Very true. For me, I just need to boot up one of the newer Call of Duties, and then I'm cooking. <laughs> Uh, Zrek says, genuine question. What was your opinion on the Let's Go series? I hear a lot of people generally not like the game, uh, while others love it. Your thoughts? I actually don't mind it, Zrex. I think it's super cute. I remember people were not happy when it came out because they wanted, like, a game where they could battle and, like, you know, catch wild Pokemon and all that sort of stuff. But I actually didn't mind it, to be honest. I thought it was really cute. I was pretty excited to get it. And I really loved seeing the Pokemon out in the open, so I actually enjoyed it. And it's really fun for shiny hunting. Albeit, I I probably didn't put as much time into it as some other Pokemon games, but I still did really like it. Just because it's not my favorite doesn't mean it's not bad, because I think it's good. I mean, it's not good, I should say. I think it, I think it's good. I still haven't gotten my shiny beach balls feel. <laughs> Instead, it's Glamia, Toxicroak, Chansey, Cricketer, and Quillfish, and Ambipom. That's really good, Peyton. You will get the shiny beach ball. <laughs> oh, yes, I love watching Buttercup. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup. <laughs> These Pokemon are totally your vibe. Thank you, Splinks. Thank you. They're, they're my favorites. I love them a lot. There's a lot of ones that compete for top 10, like El Creamy. Um, Swirlix, Slurpuff, Eevee even, Baneri, Pachirisu, Galarian Ponyta, Poplio. There's so many Pokemon that I really, really love that they would all be fighting for top 10 positions, but I had to narrow down at least a top three. You can watch Sun and Moon on Pokemon TV. I need to um, watch all of Sun and Moon because I didn't watch all of it. I don't know. I, I'm really bad at half starting stuff and then not finishing it. <laughs> Uh, I'm all about pop-ups, to be honest. My dream car is an NSX, but it's like 60k here. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I'm really in love with the S13, though, even if she has no sunroof. Lol, Miata are getting expensive, too, to be honest. They are. They are. And it sucks. I think about it, and I'm just like, 
It makes me want to cry. Uh, but it is it is what it is. If it's meant to happen, it'll happen. It's just crazy that cars from, like, you know, the 90s and whatnot are so much more expensive. And it's weird because I feel like, you know, nine, nine years ago, they were, like, very attainable, to be honest, price-wise. But now it's just... It's a lot. What's the counter? The counter is at three ninety, I believe. Um, Need for Speed Underground Two was Miata Supremacy. Oh my gosh, I have that. I have that on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, I believe, or is it? Or do I have it on the PlayStation? I can't remember, but I do have that game. I haven't played a Need for Speed game in such a long time. I kind of got more obsessed into like, I did play some of the Need for Speeds. I did play. Um, oh my gosh, what is it? Ah, uh, I'm having a mind blank right now. The one that's, um, so Forza is like more on Xbox. What's the one for PlayStation? The car game. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm having a mind blank. I can't believe I'm having a mind blank. What is it called? Oh my gosh. It'll come to me, but yeah. They, they, you know what? Need for Speed games have really good soundtracks. My favorite car is the Nissan Skyline, and it's uh, not legal in the United States. Is, is it legal where you are? Yes, it is. Because we're um, in Japan, the driver's side is on the same side. <laughs> so there's actually a lot of Skylines where I live. Like, there's a lot of, um, well, I don't know as much anymore, but before um, the whole quarantine thing, I remember seeing, there was like a, actually like a car community here. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I type for so long just for it to be lo uh, too long. Oh, that's okay, Axolotl. Don't stress. Well, I think I'm finally tired enough to sleep. If I'm not back in an hour, then I'm probably out cold finally. Good night and good luck with the hunt. Oh, Xerx. That's all good. I hope you do have a really good sleep. And thank you for being here, Xerx. Have a good have a good sleep and I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Ultra Sun egg hunt is tricky since the shiny Pokemon don't sparkle when they hatch. Yes, dear. That's always, I love the sparkles. That's like one of the best parts of finding the shiny, but it's okay. Pokemon TV was the thing that saved me while I was sick. Aw, that's good. That's good. Send help, my shaman is going to beat my Luxios. Aw, I'm sending luck, I'm sending luck and help. <laughs> uh, Pokemon NPCs, that is the weird mudkip collector that has, <laughs> is that a million or a hundred thousand shiny mudkips? Mudkip attack, they don't like mudkips, NPCs. Ah. <laughs> oh. It would be Pokemon Collector Axolotl, and they just have a bunch of mudkips. They added Master Quest's final portion of the Johto Saga to Pokemon TV today, now that you mentioned it. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Visitor says, can't you import one from Japan, though? You can, but right now, importing is very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. It's only really worth it if you, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you get a decent enough deal. And I feel like a lot of the um, Japanese cars are getting imported at the moment because, obviously, like, there's already been so many sent over. Like, I don't know. There's a big problem with rust, which, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's an option, but it's, it's very expensive still right now. Like... Back in the day, you could you could get a running S13 for under 10 grand, and now where we are, you you wouldn't be able to. I kind of need to rewatch some episodes from the Pokemon anime. I stopped after X Y X Y and Z. I <laughs> love it. Never watched Sun and Moon, by the way. I mean, I was kind of a bit iffy on the Sun and Moon because of the art style, but it grew on me. It did grow on me. Yes, Gran Turismo. That's the one. Everybody, everybody knew what I was talking about. My dad actually did a tournament in Gran Turismo to win they did like a i think it was gran turismo was it four or five where if you ranked within a certain slot you went in the running to win like the irl car i can't remember what car it was anymore um bd ended up getting into the top 10 in australia but then when it was national he just missed out <sighs> it was it was beating it was like having the best time trial basically you would get along with my husband he also loves the need for speed games oh that's awesome Gran Turismo is the PlayStation game. Yes, that's the one I was thinking of. Ali, hey Buttercup, how are you doing today? I'm doing not too bad, Ali. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Would you prefer if, uh, is it Illica? I always say that wrong. <laughs> Who would remaster Black and White 2, then make a Pokemon Z remake similar to Emerald or Platinum? Yes, I would love that. I would love that so much. Later, watch you. Sorry about that. No, that's all good, Ali. Do not, do not apologize. 
Luminia Skylaria. That's what I heard. I still don't think Sun and Moon anime can top X, Y. Um, is it X, Y, and Z for the anime? Am I just, did I just not know that? I probably didn't know that. Or oh, Diamond and Pearl. Those are my two top favorite series from the Pokemon anime. I really love, um, I really love the Hoenn, like when Hoenn was a thing. I really love, okay, when I was growing up, I was growing up like maybe with reruns of the first series of Pokemon, but I did really have a soft spot for that. I remember like my mom would take me to the library and we'd go get like a VHS tape from the Pokemon series. So I do really like the first season of Pokemon, but I really do like Hoenn, like Pokemon Advance, and I really like um, Diamond and Pearl as well. I am wiping, uh, wiping to an outbreak of Rufflet. I should have brought my actual team. Yeah, Rufflets are pretty intense in the uh, outbreaks. <laughs> this seems really bad, but the way I shiny hunt Pokemon through egg breeding is just by breeding all the eggs until my box is full and then seeing if it is shiny Pokemon home after I hatch them. No, oh, that's not bad. If that's what works for you, then that's what works for you. Me, if I was Game Freak. New game, it would be called Pokemon Mudkip where everything is Mudkip, okay? My workers. But that would ruin the point. Me brings out a swamp hood. <laughs> swamp hood attack. Mm -hmm. It's the building where they throw the person out of the building that has a good idea. I'm actually, uh, I'm calling my shots. So you'll get the shiny at 400. You reckon Pikachu? Oh, I'd be very happy. Gamer dad? Yes. Yes. My dad is literally, I mean, maybe aside from my brother, the biggest gamer I know. <laughs> like he's been gaming my whole life. Um, Xander says it all depends on what you're looking for in the anime. I won't spoil anything though as it's better to give you a look on your own. Nice, nice. Number two! <gasps> okay, I know you probably didn't reference this, but when I read number two I was thinking of Codename Kids Next Door. I know. <laughs> but how's the hunt going so far? Not too bad, number two. Not too bad, thank you for asking. We're getting close to 400 soft resets so we're making progress i've only been hunting this uh arceus on stream hence why the number is low but you know we can always get it sooner rather than later um josh says the one thing i'm most disappointed about in the lola series is that lily doesn't tell nebby to get in the bag <laughs> oh i love nebby i heard that uh need for speed heat is pretty good but the studio gave up on the game Oh, I yeah, I've heard it too. I don't know. I haven't played as many. I haven't played any car games recently, really. The only thing I gave a go was a bit of a Seto Corsa, but I'm not really good at sim racing. <laughs> I just spin out a bunch. Um, who's your favorite Poke Girl? I really like Lily, but I also really like Serena, and I really like Dawn. I don't know. There's so many good Poke Girls. I don't know. My earliest vivid memories were watching Jotto Journeys before bed on Cartoon Network. Oh my gosh, yes, Cartoon Network. But my main interactions was the advanced generation and the... Uh, I'm, I'm just used to saying Brilliant Diamond now. Diamond and Pearl anime as it aired. I feel that, Xander. Uh, Rufflet are not as vicious as the Paris and Arceus. Never have I come across such an angry little grass bugs. Yeah, I feel like for me, weirdly enough, I seem to avoid the Paris pretty good, but I know a lot of people have a problem with them. But I always struggle with that rufflet. Those rufflet aggro onto me before I even see them. Arceus turn yellow? It would be nice, wouldn't it, Foxy Bag? I would not complain. Um, I can't beat Volo. Axolotl. I couldn't on my first go either. I don't even know if I got it. I think it was maybe my second go or third go. I can't remember now, but I didn't get it on the first go either. Mystic Mamoswine is worse. Oh, I can imagine. Number two says, nice, currently at 563 for Darkrai. I like to watch shiny hunts while shiny hunting. Oh, well, good luck on Darkrai and I hope you get it soon. I appreciate that. Going back to the outbreak with a Pachirisu in a dream. <laughs> good luck, Peyton. Uh, Lumineer says, Dawn and Serena are like amazing Poke Girls. I heard good things about Lily when I watched some top 10 Poke Girl videos. I think the thing with Lily is the character development throughout, like, especially like the anime and even honestly the game, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Would your S13, uh, would you ever give your S13 a body kit? Or more of an OEM kind of girl. I have the Fujin body kit on mine. Bought the Type X taillights so expensive. Oh yeah, I bet they were. Personally, 
for myself OEM, but I definitely can appreciate for other people. If you can get it to fit really nice and like all the lines can be nice and smooth, I think, I think that's awesome. I'm very basic with that kind of stuff. My specialty when it comes to like customizing is like the interior. <laughs> I'm one of those people. I, um, I actually bought some cherry blossom fabric to make my own little shift boot. Yeah, I'm that person. <laughs> Um, I remember watching Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball on a cheese TV, if anyone in Australia remembers that. I think I do, Geo! Oh my gosh! <gasps> and I remember in the morning, Toasted TV. In the morning, they'd have all the cartoons, they'd have Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, they'd have One Piece. Oh my gosh, I remember those days. I'm doing good today. Also today, I just got Shiny Reshiram! <gasps> Congrats, Ali, that's awesome. But I have level 80s and I always get to Giratina, but with two or three or four, uh, with two or one or three Pokemon left. Yeah. That's, you're doing pretty good though, Axolotl, even with that. Because my first run, I got to Giratina and I was like, wait, there's more. <laughs> if I had to pick between the two, I choose Serena since I love the whole kit um, and the massive character development she had in mid series. Mm hmm. I, I agree. Serena's really cool. After like watching more, of like that specific series, I, I really grew to love Serena as well. Pretty sure it's confirmed Paris is one of, <laughs> if not the most aggressive Pokemon in Legends of Arceus. As for Volo, my shiny Ursulano made mincemeat out of him first go. I wish I could say I got Volo on the first go, but that was not the case for me at all. <laughs> uh, Axelda says, if you could make a Pokemon game, what would it be called and what would the starters be? <gasps> That's a really good question. Okay. If I was gonna have a Pokemon game and we were picking the starters, I feel like there's a lot of really good types, okay? My hard, my my tricky part would be picking a water type starter because I'm torn between Poplio and Piplup. My grass type would be Sprigatito because I realize that I am just in love with Sprigatito and I haven't even played through with it yet. My water type would either be Poplio or Piplup, I'm still on the fence, and I think my fire type for that game would be Fennekin. Fennekin, <laughs> I just realized the types that I like. Cats, dogs, and I don't know, penguin and seals? I don't know. And what would I call them? You know, I really like the name Pokemon Pearl, but I wouldn't obviously use that because it's already been used. Um, That was 400 soft resets, by the way. We just hit that. <laughs> uh, I, f I should have noted that, but yes. Um... What would I name it? I don't know. I don't know what I'd actually name them. I haven't thought about that. My Pachirisu was knocked out instantly by both Rufflet Brave burning him twice in a row. Oh, Peyton. Uh, uh, I just answered 400. That was 400. <laughs> Hi, Buttercup. How are you? Hello, Steven. I'm doing not too bad. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Defending Volo was, uh, defeating Volo was so hard, but my Sylveon took care of Gratina, thank God. <sighs> yeah, Spinal. It's, it's not, it's not easy. <laughs> Ursa Luna being part normal invalidated his strongest move and he's pretty bulky. Plus he can learn the punches so he was fresh to take on Giratina and cleaned the house. That's really good. I didn't even think to use Ursa Luna to be honest. That's really smart. You guys know I'm not good with battling or anything like that so I just go in with what I think will work <laughs> and then I make adjustments after I get I get beaten. <laughs> Fukoko is great. Fukoko is cute. Fennekin love yes yeah. Fennekin's, Fennekin's adorable. And it's got a great shiny. Uh, Legends of Skitty. Oh my gosh. If we could pick any Pokemon for this starter, it'd be like, let's go Skitty and then... I don't know. It's a normal type, so I don't... Oh, but then again, Eevee's normal type. But I guess the difference is Eevee has the potential to be any type, almost. Skitty doesn't, but... Skitty's my favorite, so I guess, yeah. I think Axolotl's correct. I would probably have to call it <laughs> Legends of Skitty. Currently shiny hunting Chimchar and brilliant diamond shining pearl. Wish me luck. I am wishing you luck, Steven. Good luck. Uh, my S13 will look like Luke builds one. He is Australian, just emerald green. I can't wait. Not cruising to new places in summer makes me sad. Oh, visitors. I feel you. I feel you. The one that um, is here is, uh, I believe it's Jade. Jaded? It's either Jade or Jaded Green. So it's more like of a goldy, a goldy green. It's really nice. I don't know what shiny to hunt next. Oh, that is a tough question. 
Whatever you feel like. Whatever floats your boat. Oh man, I haven't gotten to Legends of Arceus yet. Didn't buy it. Oh, that's okay. You'll, I'm sure you'll have time to buy it in the future. And hopefully, once it gets closer to have being out for a year, they'll do some sales on it so you can get it more affordably. I love a good deal. Bring out Braviary to the Rufflet. Mm-hmm. My boy Quaxley is underrated. He's so cute. Quaxley is pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of Volo, I love the twist, but when I first heard the music, I was like, oh my lord, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> incarnate even though his ace is toe kiss mm -hmm. i remember in the first stream i was like volo looks like cynthia and everyone's like volo's a boy i was like but it still looks like cynthia <laughs> i was like i'm not being deceived i know it does skitty lucians we need them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a few cocos indeed the goat need more gen 9 news soon i know i'm, I'm excited i'm excited axolotl says quaxley what about me <laughs> Uh, Luminous says, do you like the whole Volo twist buttercup? What do you thought of it despite his battle being hard? <sighs> I'm, I don't want to spoil, I don't, I'm assuming, is, is everyone okay with knowing about Volo, like, at the end? I won't, I, you know what, I'll be very brief about it. I was shocked by the twist, and I was a bit upset, but I will say I do really love Volo. I do love Volo. Me full odds hunting, then? <laughs> do, do I have to? You gotta admit though, getting a full-edged shiny is really good. Okay, I just got a random missed call and they left a voicemail, so I'm gonna have to check that out because I do not know what that is. Um, me full-edged shiny. Oh, I just read that. Don't mind me. <laughs> what about me and you together? Something that could really last forever. <laughs> oh. Uh, me full of shiny hunting now. Yay, this is fun. It's good. It's good. But if it's not for you, I don't I don't blame you. <laughs> I'll buy it soon, but I've had to dodge so many spoilers. It's so hard. Yeah, number two. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That's why I was like, I don't want to say. So I'm going to keep it locked in. Pokemon, okay, what? This character is a boy. Mm-hmm. This meme isn't mine. Sprigatito reaches up for something on a table and almost skirts on two legs. Both the new starters no stay on four. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone everyone doesn't want it to go on two legs. I think that there could be a really cool potential for a cool design for Sprigatito. I know why people say they don't want it to be on two legs, but I'm like, if the design is good, it doesn't matter in my opinion. I haven't vo uh, Volvo yet. <laughs> I love that nickname. Dang autocorrect. No, it's, it's good, Gio. It's good. Vukoko is best boy. Vukoko is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I don't even play Pokemon. That's fair enough, Marcus. That's fair enough. I like that you can still appreciate it then. <laughs> uh, number two, dodging spoilers like bullets. Mm hmm. I took my headphones off to not get spoiled anymore, but oh man, spoilers are everywhere. Yeah, number two. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be aware. I'm trying to be aware. Guaranteed shiny in the next 20 resets. I'll take that, Danny. I'll take it. <laughs> well, this one will actually be 405. So maybe we can go to 425 and then we'll have to wrap up the stream because I don't know what that call is and I do have like an important call that was supposed to come soon. But I didn't know it was going to come this soon. So I will have to actually check that out because if it is what I'm expecting, I'll need to get back to them ASAP. Um... Guaranteed shiny. All right, that's right. <laughs> so maybe so then we'll go till the next 20, 20 resets. Then Danny, uh, I just hope they do not do the same thing they did to Litten. I love Litten, but my man. Some people really like Litten's evolution though, final evolution, and that's the thing. Even though, like, it's it's split because I know a lot of people really like Incineroar. I just dropped my Joy-Con. No, it's under the desk. <laughs> My Joy-Con, I dropped it and it literally went all the way to the back of my desk. Like it didn't just like stay where it landed. It literally bounced and rolled all the way to the back of my desk. That's a little dramatic, don't you think, Joy-Con? <laughs> um, I went through all of that for no shiny rufflet, wiped almost twice. Oh, it'll happen, Peyton. It'll happen. Oh. Ali says, I'm hoping that Gen 9 will have a new uh, evolution because in Gen 6 we got Sylveon was last new evolution was released. Yeah, Ali, I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it. 
It'd be interesting because I feel like now they've really done like they've done so much merch for the evolutions, and it's like a lot of the merch has all the current evolutions on it. So it's going to be weird if they do add another one because there's going to be so much outdated merch that doesn't have it. But at the same time, like the evolutions are always great. So I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it. Fun fact, while resetting for a shiny starter and brilliant diamond shining pearl, holding B after a dialogue box pops up makes it go by faster. Thank you for the hint, Steven. Should I shiny hunt Arceus when I get uh, get to it in Legends of Arceus? I don't think, if you mean like shiny hunting Arceus in Legends, I don't think you can actually hunt it in Legends, but if you mean shiny or hunting in this game after you unlock it, then yes. <laughs> yes, you should, Pikachu. Really hoping for the flying type evolution? That would be super cool. Arceus is so dang cool. I love how it changes color with the plates. Agreed, Axolotl. What should I name my Luxray, non-shiny? Ooh, I don't know. It feels like funny because I'm like, call it Luxury because it's just changing those two letters. But I'm like, I don't know if that's kind of funny. Because <sighs> isn't there the, lu the Luxury Ball? If you caught it in that, that would have been like even better combo. But whatever you think, whatever you think's fun, Wolfion. Cosmo? Cosmo is good. Cosmo is a good name. Um, I don't know. That's the first name that came to my head. It's a good one. Is it bad that I'm kind of hoping for the Starly because it might be what motivates me to no life this shiny until I get it? No, honestly, when I got my um, uncatchable shiny Starly, that was the first uncatchable shiny I'd ever found. And it was like, okay, it's not shiny locked. <laughs> so yeah, if you find an uncatchable Starly, it'll be good. Still hoping for a dragon evolution. I feel like, I feel like that would be one of the most interesting ones to see the design of because how are they going to keep it cute? If they're going to stick with how all the evolutions look, they have to cutify it. So how are they going to make a cute dragon evolution? Um, I knew legendaries were shiny look, but not mythicals. Yeah, unfortunately, in Legends of Arceus they are, which it does suck. It'd be cool if you could hunt them in Arceus. It'd be very cool, but. I mean, once you unlock it, though, in Legends of Arceus, if you do have or decide to get Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, you'll be able to do that hunt once you get the National Dex and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, it's a female one. I kind of like the name uh, Cosmo. Was that Eevee that said that? I think that was a good name. Uh, Rigster says a dragon type Eevee would be amazing. Agreed, Rigster. Agreed. I'm sorry, chat. I didn't mean to call the end of the stream. No, Danny, you're okay. No. <laughs> No, no, no. I was actually going to wrap up. Um, I was thinking about wrapping up at around 400 and then I decided to do a couple more. And I was like, oh, do I, how much do I do? So I needed to wrap up soon anyway, because like I said, if that's an important call, I need to get back to that straight away. So don't don't apologize. It's not you, Danny. <laughs> uh, plus, I haven't eaten because I pretty much started streaming right after I woke up. So I need to eat too. <laughs> uh, flying type evolution could be called Saurion. I like that, Eevee. I like that. What Pokeball are you hoping to get the Arceus in, MC? I don't know. I have a Master Ball and I've told myself I'm not scared to use it should it happen. I It's funny because I am going to throw a Quick Ball in my plan of plans. I am going to attempt to throw a Quick Ball. I might throw a few Ultra Balls and then I'm going to try Timer Balls. And if all those fail, then I'll Master Ball it. I think a Timer Ball would look good though, or an Ultra Ball. If there is a dragon Evo, I think uh, it should grow small cute wings and it should sneeze blue fire. That would be cute. I like that. People are counting their character blinks to manipulate the RNG to get shinies. Things are crazy nowadays. It seems like a lot of effort. I mean, it's, I guess it's technically a method because it's in the game. I mean, to me, um, I think whatever makes you happy is what you should do. But I feel like for me, if I was able to get it super quick and get every Pokemon super quick, it wouldn't be as fun for me. So that's why I choose not to do it. But if people want to try it and like give it a go just to see what, what it's like, or if that's the way they want to hunt, then that's, I have no problem with the way people want to shiny hunt. <laughs> like if that's the way you want to do it, then by all means, go ahead. But it, it, it's it's interesting how people figure this stuff out. That's the thing that really blows my mind. If you do get the shiny Arceus, good luck. The thing has 35 PP per use. Uh, one of those moves you being recover, so I hope you've been test catching. I did one test catch. And I mean, it took a while, but I did catch it, but I didn't damage it. <laughs> I didn't damage it and I didn't. And I was like, once I caught it, I was like, okay, cool. But I have a feeling I got very lucky. 
Because I think it was only after like 10 Pokeballs I got it. Because I used a timer ball and it worked. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. That was when I did my test catch at the start. Um, Where am I up to? Cladion, Scalion, Earthion, Minion, and Spookion. Ooh, those are good. Those are good too. Dragon Eevee Evo could be called Draggy, but it kind of bad name. <laughs> Draggy's kind of cute. I like it. I want a bug type evolution based off of being Nectarion. Ooh, you guys have been thinking about this. I like it. Speaking of eating time to reheat my leftover pasta. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to go have a yogi. I got these little probiotic yogis that I need to eat to help with my tummy. They're dairy free, so. They taste pretty good, to be honest, so I need to have one of those. Um, speak. I just read that, don't mind me. Number two says, I'm scared I'll miss the shiny dark cry because I wasted my master ball out of stress in the Palkia fight. I didn't have Pokeballs and it just did get in the ball. So now no master ball. That's okay. I didn't catch my um, Palkia and a master ball, which honestly, I think that the Palkia, shiny Palkia and a master ball does actually fit really well color wise. So. And I didn't catch my Darkrai in a Master Ball, so that means you'll be able to catch it too. Um, Steven says, Candy Eevee about the Starly. It's funny because Game Freak deliberately shiny locked the Poochiana in Omega Rufy Alpha Sapphire for that reason, but Ilka knows no such mercy. This is a faithful remake. Starly stays shiny. It's good. It's good. Uh, hydrate like Vaporeon. Thank you, Payton. I do need to. Um, I fell for the blinking strap, but I got bored and went back to brute forcing it. Like I said, I don't judge people because it is a method and I understand people's curiosity and wanting to try it out. So I have no feelings and, and some people just don't have the time to shiny hunt and they want to get shiny. So even though I don't do it, it doesn't mean that anything about it, like if that makes you happy and that's the best way for you to do it, then I say go for it. So Cosmo it is. Thank you for the name, Evie. I like Cosmo. I'm sorry for not considering your personal life. No, you're okay. To don't apologize. <laughs> don't apologize at all. Gotta go to bed soon. Hope I don't miss it. No, you're all good. Like I said, I've got, I think, after this one, I'll have 14 more. This is the 15th last. And then I'll have to go because I don't know what that calls. And now it's like, you know when you kind of like get something in the back of your head and you can't let go of it? I actually just saw the notification pop up that you've got a missed call and they left a voicemail. And I was like, oh. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't be as stressed about it, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I found a random shiny alpha Gliscor? Gl you guys know I, I struggle with this one. Is it Gliscor or Glissor? Glissor? Gliscor. I think it's Gliscor. Yesterday, while just flying around, I noticed it before it even sparkled, naming him Nightwing. That's a good name. I like it. I want thank you for choosing the name I suggested. Awesome. How many shinies in Legends of Arceus? I don't know how many I've gotten in Legends of Arceus. I actually don't know. Um, when do you get Palkia Dialga? Do you mean in the games? I believe... Does that unlock after you... That event... Is that after you get all eight gym batches? I can't remember anymore. It's like before the Elite Four, I think. I could be wrong on that. I can't remember. I'm so bad with that stuff. A steel type called Cybrion because it's cybernetic magnetic cybernetic modifications. Peach Creed, that would be very cool. I like that a lot. That's a good idea. Set the time tonight so dust balls will be my best friend. Did a catch test with it and got it in the dust ball first try, so hopefully I'll be fine. Yes. Good, good call. Good call. I have a suggestion for new music that you should listen to. The name is Frame of Mind. Let me know what you think about it. I feel like that is super familiar, but I will copy it and paste it. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, Ali. Uh, a sleepy dude says, I'm pretty psyched for the new Pokemon card set. The alternative art Palkia is super beautiful. <sighs> I can't wait for like the Pokemon, like for card, like either they replenish more stock or it chills out because it was actually like kind of being more chill here. I was starting to be able to get cards. And then when Brilliant Stars came out, goodbye Pokemon cards. <laughs> I couldn't find them anymore. Albeit though, Brilliant Stars is a very like nostalgic set, at least to me, it seems like it. So I'm excited. I'm excited for the new sets. Am I crazy for actually having had caught Shaman, Darkrai, and Arceus and Perkables? I never had bothered using other balls since I usually prep for my hunts beforehand. 
very smart. I like it. No, no, you're not, you're not crazy at all for that. I think that's actually very smart. I'm just like, I hate to say it, but I feel like I'm a little bit like lazy when it comes to prepping for shiny hunts. Like my bare minimum is make sure I have enough Pokeballs, make sure my storage is open and um, make sure I have full swipe if I'm in a game where I have a full swiper. <laughs> so I, I can, I, I appreciate that actually. Um, what should I name Chimchar? I don't have any names yet. I have no idea. I call it Gliscor. Sounds right. Okay. It, it does sound right that way. Gliscor. Okay. Okay. We got it. I'm, I'll say it's Gliscor then. It's weird because it's one of those ones I always read away in my head and I'm like, that's how it is. And then when I say it out loud, I'm like, why can't I get what I'm saying in my head out? But Gliscor does sound right to me. I still need to shiny hunt in Legends of Arceus, but that Darkrai hunt in Brilliant Diamond Shining probably exhausted me, so just taking a break for now. Yep. Yep, that's a good idea. I feel like that's how I kind of feel with Pip, like the Piplop hunt in Brilliant Diamond. We had been hunting it on and off for so long that after finally getting it, I'm like, I just need a break from touching that game right now <laughs> before I decide what I'm going to do next because it's like finally that relief after getting the shiny and then you need that cool off period when a hunt goes that long. Um, you're welcome as always, Buttercup. Thank you, thank you, Ali. I found a uh, second shiny Pachirisu yesterday too. I now have a male and female shiny Pachirisu. Oh, that's awesome, Victini. Congrats. <laughs> Demon Phantom Shiny Umbreon. Buttercup! <laughs> Hello, Demon Phantom Shiny Umbreon. Welcome, welcome. I have to go by. Oh, that's all good, Axolotl. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Speaking of Pokemon cards, I bought my first Pokemon tin today and I got an Umbreon V. I have no clue what it is. <laughs> Lol, I'm more of a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. No, that's totally fair. And congrats on the Umbreon V. Those cards are super cool. Any art that like kind of goes off that little rectangle, like a full art, even though I know that they're like not always considered full arts. It's it's weird now because I'm I'm a little bit out of the loop with like the Vs and stuff, but that's very cool rig stuff. All right, we are now 10 away and then we'll be wrapping up the stream, you guys. I did 60 Dynamax adventures just to get a duplicate shiny. I'm taking a short break from Sword and Shield and playing Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. That sounds like a good idea, Evie. Yeah, like I was saying, we did a Dynamax adventure stream and I got a shiny in that stream. But as I was talking about it, I was telling everyone like I hadn't got a shiny from Dynamax adventures for ages the last shiny i got in dynamax adventures was the shiny zapdos which was a long time ago and i had done quite a lot of dynamax adventures in that time because i was actually planning on doing a little video on it and then i just didn't get anything so i had to scrap all that time that i put into it but it was okay because in that stream we ended up getting a shiny cofagrigus which was pretty cool soft resetting is pretty exhausting it can be number two it can be i don't mind soft reset hunts every once in a while I feel like on stream it's good because it, the muscle memory, once it sets in, you know exactly what you're doing and I'm able to concentrate on chat and shiny hunting because sometimes in like Legends, there's a bit more like to it as far as like running and focusing and stuff. Whereas this, I know pretty much all the button presses that I have to do and how long it's going to take every time. So good for streaming, but if you do them all the time, it can, it can get a bit full on. <laughs> Gotta grab my laptop charger. By the time you see this, then likely got it. Okay, cool, Peyton. Cool. Think after dark, right? I'll finish my Zerua egg hunt and sword. You should. Good luck. I hope you get it. Come on, yellow gold universe llama. That's exactly what Arceus is. A universe llama. <laughs> I kind of want to SOS an ultra sun and moon for slow poke. You definitely should, Victini. SOS hunting is so fun. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I named my Buizel from when I first started the game. Now Floatzel, do that. Oh, I like that Spinal Wolfion. That's cool. That is good. I like it. Alan, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. I've been shiny hunting Rayquaza in Dynamax Adventures and I got no success so far. Oh, Pikachu. Well, I am hopeful that it will sparkle for you soon. It will happen. I was trying to go for a few targets in um, Dynamax Adventures and I just wasn't having any luck, but that's okay. When it's ready to happen, it'll happen. I'm new to hunting. I hunt in Legends. Mostly I plan to hunt in Sword for a Legend. You definitely should, Peyton. 
You definitely should. I always say if Legends is kind of like your first run in, uh, in shiny hunting, it's a good gateway because it gets you the feeling of the shiny. Uh, the one thing is when you go to like Sword and Shield, especially if you don't get the shiny charm or don't do like a method type of hunt, you just kind of got to know that they will probably take longer to find a shiny in um, Sword and Shield than in Arceus. But the feeling of when you get a shiny after hunting it for like quite a while, it's 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 a pretty good feeling. I'm not going to lie. You should do a Dynamax uh, stream in the future. You never know what you might get another shiny for the first try. That was pretty funny that that happened. I definitely will do another one in the future. I'm just not sure when. Like I said, the Dynamax adventures are a little bit stressful because I'm worried about everyone getting a good go. That's my like biggest concern with doing them is I don't want people to be upset if they miss out or if they can't participate. But at the same time, it's like, I obviously don't want people to miss out. It's just, it depends how many people are there, how many people get a chance to go. Last stream was good though, because everyone was very respectful and didn't keep trying to get in all the time and make other people miss out, which was good. But it just gives me anxiety because I don't want people to feel bad if they miss out. Thanks Buttercup, I really appreciate it. Oh, of course Pikachu. Xerneas is such a pain to hunt for it in Dynamax Adventures. It is, and it's a very good shiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I'll read that in a moment, my cat. I'll read that in a moment. <laughs> um, petition, petition for a quick reset in Scarlet and Violet for starters that aren't shiny loft. I hope they're not shiny loft. That'd be so good. Zygarde is worse. It is. I always nickname my Pokemons to some characters from the games or animes like Lucario is named Sasuke. That's really cool. I like that. That's a good name for Lucario though. That dopamine <laughs> dopamine? <laughs> The dopamine hits. It does. When you get a when you get a shiny hunt that takes a long time, it does. My cat, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you for the ten dollars. And my cat says today is the day. We're actually gonna be wrapping up soon, but you always know when to come in and get the extra get the extra one. So I'll I'll do an extra one, I think. For you, my cat. I appreciate that. So we're, we're, we're actually six away. I was going to finish at 4.25, but I think we'll go till 4.30 soft resets and then I'll wrap up for today. But thank you again for the 10, my cat. I appreciate that. It'd be fun to do Dynamax adventures with you. No switch online, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe if I, if I decide the day that I'll do it, I don't know if you can still get a free trial for switch online, but I could try to, if I, if I think of a day when I'm feeling like we could give it a go, we can see what happens. Everyone, oh. Thankfully, I'm done with Dynamax Adventures since I got all the shiny Tapus, Sogaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, and thank god, one of the hardest raids ever, Shiny Zygarde, my last one to be done. <gasps> That's good. That's good, and congrats, Luminous. There, there are a lot of great shinies there. I never get a shiny in Dynamax Adventures rip. Seems so much easier than it is. True. True. Some people have really good luck with it. Some people just do. I'm jealous. <laughs> If she hunts, I will buy online on the spot. Oh, Payton. I don't want I don't want people to do that because it might only be one stream that I do it and then I don't know when the next one would be. And I don't want you to do that. If anything, I would just say if I do a Dynamax stream, I'll try to remember to make an announcement in the community, like maybe the day before it happens, and then people can see if they can get like a free trial and then do it that way. Because at the moment, the weather has been pretty on and off here too. And if like I say something like, I will give a bit of notice, but I don't want like, could you imagine I announce the streams happening and then the power goes out? I would feel so bad. That's why I don't like to have like strict schedules when I stream and stuff like that, because if something comes up, I feel like it throws everything. So I like to be, I like to have flexibility. Um, Gio has a work in, oh Gio, you should try to get some more sleep. Like you said, you gotta wake up early tomorrow, so. I just got a shiny Burmite in a mass outbreak. Congratulations, Ice Cream. That's awesome. Any plans on like a PO box so we can send you fan art and stuff? Oh, Brigster, that would be super cute. I've definitely, like I said, I've definitely thought about it. <sighs> Next time I go into the post office, I should actually ask about what that would entail because I got a letter saying like you are eligible for like a free PO box thingy, but then. The last time I inquired about getting it for something else, um, they said that there was like a kind of big fee at the time. I think this was during like quarantine. So like everything kind of was a bit weird at that time. So I would I would look into it because I think that would be really sweet. 
not gonna lie. <laughs> I would I would love to see the fan art that way. We missed the 420 shining. We did, Marcus. We did. This will be the 422nd. <laughs> um, so we got eight more and then we'll be wrapping up. Um, I've gotten two without the shiny charm number two. Oh, wow. That's... Some, it's funny because I had people saying in the pedalil, like, oh, I get so many pedalils, like, you know, I don't even catch them all because I get so many. I'm like, it's so funny how that works. It's so funny how it is for some people, some shinies pop up all the time, but then for other people, it's like, it pops up once and then it's never to be seen again, or even if it pops up. Let's go golden <laughs> boy before the stream ends. Hopefully, lol. Hopefully, hopefully, Hopper. Danny says, first Dynamax adventure I did when I came back, I got a shiny Tapu Fine. <gasps> congrats, congrats, that's awesome. The shiny legendaries I currently have in Sword and Shield is Mewtwo, Latias, Latias, sorry, Thunderous, Entei, Gertina, and Tapu Lele. Very good, nice. I, I, like, I like the Tapus. I like Tapu Fine and I like Tapu Lele. I don't mind making fan art for you. Oh, that's so sweet. I never want anyone to feel pressured, but if it's something someone wants to do organically of their own free will, I, I'm always very, I think it's very sweet. I love it. It feels kind of surreal, to be honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, to be honest, I want to get online. I just need that push lol. I love doing a Dynamax uh, adventures, but online ran out, sadly. I feel you, Peyton. I feel you. It ended up working out for me because it's just like I chip in and then we do the, the family plan. Because that's like kind of works out the best. But then they did the price right. It still is kind of worth it in our situation. Because like my dad likes playing all the retro games. So fun fact, reclaims will probably take like two to ten times longer than the first phase. Generally, I find that to be the case. Although I will say when I failed Shiny Garbodor because I was targeting Ditto, I found Shiny Garbodor and it failed because it had, um, I think it was Explosion. And I didn't realize because I wasn't prepared for that hunt. I was looking for Ditto. And then I think it was within a hundred or less, I found a second shiny Garboda. That was probably one of the most just unbelievable moments for me since starting shiny hunting because the, the, the odds of that being so close to the second one and it being the same shiny, it, I mean, even now that still blows me away that that even happened. Like I, I don't, I don't think that will ever happen to me again in my shiny hunting career. If it does, mind blown but I yeah that was <laughs> even now thinking about it it just rattles my brain might go back to doing raids in sword and resume my Giratina hunt when <laughs> which I never finished sounds good number two my friend has a perfect Pokedex in Legends of Arceus everything is complete but his shiny luck is awful oh Nin I'm sorry for your friend sometimes it is like that not gonna lie I won't make fan art it'll be fanimation uh, await animation is still art heck. It is. It absolutely is art. It really, really is. And I mean, anything, anything like that I love. Kruger Gamer! Hello, Buttercup. What's Kruger? Not too much, Kruger Gamer. What's Kruger with you? We are actually now, since we just had this encounter, we are five away from wrapping up the stream. So <laughs> we are making some good progress on Arceus. No shiny yet, but yet is in capitals. Um, Pikachu, if people want to, they absolutely can. Uh, Pokemon that have moves to make the battle end sucks. I can't do those types of hunts. Risks aren't worth it. That's the thing, like I said, I wasn't even prepared for it and I feel the same way. Um, what, what is the move that Halucha does? Is Halucha the one, does it run away? I know there are Pokemon that do run away, like teleport on Abra, but I know Halucha can be failed that way. I can't remember what it is. Doesn't it like hit you and then it runs? That's very stressful. That's why you have to like actually be prepared for those type of hunts. Um, I think I'm going to draw your shiny evolutions. I can't spell. That's okay. So you have them all, right? Sounds good. I do have them all, Spinal Wolfion. I've ended up hunting them all in Sword and Shield in um, soft reset hunting. We managed to find them all. Um, I'm still happy that I encounter three shinies in a day in Legends of Arceus. That's very good, Trainer Joker. Hope you get it soon, Buttercup. Thank you so much, Alan. I appreciate that. 100 minutes will be a shiny. It'd be funny. It would be. I get more shinies full odds in Arceus than with the shiny charm and sword and shield. 
Yeah, me too, Ice Cream. I found that to be very, very much the case. I will say, though, because of my experience shiny hunting in Sword, like, I've put a lot of time into Sword. I think I have 2,000 hours, at least, in just Sword alone. It's something like that. Like, it's, it's quite a lot of hours. <laughs> so I've put a lot of time into it, and I don't know, something about shiny hunting in that game, for me, is just a lot of fun. Like, I... I Oh, it makes my heart feel weird to ever think of like a day when I've got all the shinies in that game and I can't hunt them anymore. Like, I would still be like, I want to keep hunting in this game. I don't know. It's just such a fun game for shiny hunting, in my opinion. I know not everyone loves it, but for shiny hunting, it's I think it's a lot of fun. I love the fact that you can get two different types of sparkles too. I think that's really cool. Um, Kruger Gamer says, nothing much. I got Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga for my Switch and started collecting the Animal Crossing cards yesterday. Ooh, sounds like fun. That's awesome. I have quite a few of the Animal Crossing cards. <laughs> so I've been there. Um, back when New Leaf was the thing, so before like New Horizons on the Switch and New Leaf, I remember my game shop was actually clearing down the packs of the Amiibo cards and they were selling them for a dollar a pack and I bought out every single pack they had and I managed to fill up a lot of space in a few of my binders. <laughs> I was very thankful that I walked in that day. But that was, like I said, where I was. I would always have um, Street Pass on, on my New Leaf, on my DS, and I never Street Passed anyone and I took my DS with me everywhere. So I don't know. Um, Buttercup, do you do this hunt off stream? Not this one. I might start doing it off stream to get like the numbers up, but it's it is pretty fun to get like the shiny on stream, so I don't know, but yeah, maybe. Please be the one, please. Well, this is the second last uh soft reset of the stream, so there's always a chance. That's an amazing idea when you do the community on YouTube, then everyone will know that you are doing Dynamax Adventures next stream. That's right, Ellie. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking because last one was pretty random. And that's kind of how I do most of the stuff on the channel because I feel like when, if I lock in, it's like this fear that if something comes up and I have to change the plans and then people have already made time for what I've said. I don't like to do that. <laughs> but I think for Dynamax Adventure Stream, that way if people want to use like a free trial or something for online, then that gives them a chance. I get no shinies. Oh, it, it is like that sometimes. It, it really is. What's your favorite Unova starter? Mine is Snivy, but Oshawott's Shiny is the best. I like Snivy a lot too, I'm not gonna lie. I do really like Snivy. Oshawott's cute. Oshawott's cute, but I think I, I picked Snivy. Even though I love Oshawa and I love the whole Oshawott line, but I had a really hard time picking between uh, Snivy. Snivy and Oshawott, actually. Alright, so I think this is the second last one. Well, this will be the second last one. I might have miscounted. So now we are on to the last encounter of the stream, you guys. Last soft reset. I've seen six shinies so far in Legends of Arceus and I got four of them. Nice, Pikachu. That's awesome. This one will be the one pretty please. Maybe it's the last check of the stream, so hopefully. Oh yeah, I need to resume that shiny red jace that I'm still on sword. I kind of stopped after that. I don't think I've even done the split decision Reggie yet. It's okay. I haven't either. Shiny red jace ain't that good though, but I'll take it. I mean, it's a shiny. It is a shiny. Red jace is actually my favorite out of those three, but it is—it does kind of suck. The shiny doesn't change. <laughs> um, please be shiny, hopefully. <laughs> really, Evie, that's funny. A hopper says, if you want a cool video to watch, Pokemon related is by Tim Valley Productions. What Pokemon Z could look like? It's very cool and a bit on the fanfic side, but still enjoyable. That's awesome. Thank you for the recommendation. All right, you guys. Well, this is going to be the last check of the stream. This will leave us at 430 soft resets. Let's see how we go. Even if we don't get it, you guys know. It's okay. There will be more hunting to be done in the future. But you never know. That's the one thing with RNG. It just takes one. It just takes one. Drumroll says my cat. Mm-hmm. You guys already know. <laughs> Batjack says I'm really late, but you still made it, and that's okay. Watch out, hello, we're about to do our last encounter of the stream, but welcome! Luminius, oh, thank you for the five dollars, oh my gosh. Maybe this could help the shiny luck, let's hope so, Luminius. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one! I don't know if you can hear the drum roll. <laughs> ah, dang it. 
that's okay. That's okay. Thank you again so much for the five dollars, Luminia Skylar. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's really, really sweet. But that's okay. You guys already know. We're going to be back here pretty soon, continuing on with this hunt. So we can get even closer to the shiny lord themselves. <laughs> Dang, well, tomorrow's the another day. It is, Team Mystic. It is. Peyton says one more. We need a countdown. Let's get this ish. <laughs> That's okay. If you guys want, I'm pretty keen to do one more. But that will be legitimately the last one. I don't like leaving it on not round numbers. But I do appreciate Luminius giving us that little bit of luck at the end. So maybe, maybe we should do one more. Geo Geo says he's three dollars. No, he's for shiny luck. Okay, we definitely have to do another one. We definitely have to do another one. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are being so sweet. Thank you so much. One more, one more says Boxy Bag. Number two says one more. Watch out says one more, one more. Okay, okay. Ali says one. Everyone's saying one more. Okay, we'll do one more. <laughs> we'll do one more. Good night to you, Pikachu. Michael Morris, hey, Buttercup. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Even though I popped in on the last encounter of the stream, better late than never, I suppose. Shame it wasn't shiny. Never give up on this hunt. Thank you so much, Michael. Well, we're actually going to do one more. So this could be the one. Who knows? This could be the one. What do you guys think? Spinal Wolfion says yes. Peyton says one more, one more. Ice Cream says <laughs> Mustard Arcus, come on. Ali says another one. Alan says one more. You'll get it, says Batjack. Come on. We got this, says Boxy Bag. Woo, come on, Arceus. Come on, says Batjack. Alan says, hope so. Danny says, this is horrible for the OCD. I know, Danny. I know. At least I don't have the counter on the screen for this one, so then no one has to suffer as much as I do. <laughs> All right. Oh, my, oh, my Arceus, please, says Peyton. Manifest, manifest. All right, you guys. This is the lucky last. Shiny. We got some shiny luck from Nicholas. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's okay. I was kind of feeling it. I was like, everyone's super hyped, but that's okay. Because you know what this means? We are now 431 soft resets closer to shiny Arceus. Which, honestly, it can happen. It can happen. <laughs> ah, says Final Wolfion. Rip says Alan. Batrack says no. Oh, it's okay. We'll get it. Thank you for the amazing stream, lovely. Thank you so much, Demon Phantom Shiny Umbreon, for being here. Oh, <laughs> ice cream, no. Oh. Marcus says, oh man, it's okay. It'll happen. Danny says, dang, making fun of him didn't work. Unfortunately, not this time, but maybe next time. Oh, well, maybe next time. Hopefully, hopefully next time. I was hoping this one will be shiny. Me too, but that's okay. Peyton asks, when's the next stream? So I always try to stream on Tuesdays. I try to stream on Tuesdays, but if things go a certain way, I might do an extra stream during the week. So I might do another one later on in the week, maybe do another Friday stream. But this week, I really want to focus on doing a little playthrough of another game, which will be a little different for the channel but i just kind of want to play something else for the for the stream well not for the stream that one will be for the video but depending how everything goes if recording goes smoothly or it doesn't work out then maybe we'll be another stream later this week but i won't guarantee it because i don't want people making time and then if i can't stream i'll feel bad <laughs> but definitely next tuesday i'm aiming for another stream prime number perfect <laughs> uh we'll see you in the next stream hopefully Fingers crossed, Luminius. And thank you again. I appreciate that a lot. Danny says, dies of cringe. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, worse than failing a shiny. Almost. Almost. I've been trying to get into the stream, but school. Oh, that's okay, Badjack. Well, thank you for being here when you can. Peace, Buttercup. Peace, my cat. I appreciate you again. Uh, Hopper says, rats no shiny, but you'll get it next time. We will, Hopper. Thank you so much. Michael says, as you said, it only takes one. It's always next stream. Good luck and wish you the best of shiny luck on this hunt. Thank you so much, Michael Morris. I appreciate that. And I hope you have a good day or night yourself. Um, turn on your notifications, people. Thank you, Marcus. It's Monday for me. Is it Peyton? It's Tuesday for me. It feels so, it feels so funny to say that but it is. <laughs> Ali says, oh well, buttercup, have a good day, bye. Thank you so much, Ali, for being here, and you have a good day too. 
Rigster says, thanks for the stream. You'll get it next time. Thanks for all the hard work. Sending you all the luck with your health problems. And I hope you have a good one. Thank you so much, Rigster. And I am sending the same to you. I hope you have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And thank you for being here. Steven says, bye, Buttercup. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Steven. And goodbye to you. You have a nice day too. Have a good day, Alan. Thank you. David says, thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here, David. Number two says, see ya. This was a fun stream. It was a lot of fun, number two. Thank you for being here. Marcus says, lovely stream as always, Buttercup. See you all next time. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate you being here. And yes, it was it was a lot of fun. Well, better luck next time, Buttercup. Look after yourself. Bye-bye. You too, Geo. Thank you so much. And you look after yourself too. See you later, Watcher. Thanks for being here. Boxy Bag says, bye, Buttercup. Have a good day, afternoon or night. Thank you, Boxy Bag. And the same to you. I appreciate you being here. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Thank you, Team Mystic for life. You too. Josh McKinnon says, watch the next one, be shiny. It'll be on stream. It'll be on stream. <laughs> well, stream was a great night and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, Hopper, and you too. Peach Creed says, good luck on your shiny Pokemon. Hopefully I get that Eevee. Yes, Peach Creed, I'm sending luck your way. You will get it. Trainer Joker, bye, have a great day. Bye, Trainer Joker, hope you have a great day too. Thanks for being here. Batjack says, bye, thanks, have a good day. Also, I really like how you're so interactive. Oh, thank you, Batjack, and I appreciate you being interactive as well. Danny Lopez says, peace out, party people. This house is party rocking. <laughs> thank you, Danny. It is, it is. Peyton says, bye, don't do a reset off stream because that'll be shiny. Okay, I promise I'll save it for the streams. <laughs> um, Ali says, bye, everyone. Have a good day. You too, Ali. All good, Peach Creed. No stress. Bye, have a good time. You too, Ali. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it a lot as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs>